The North Atlantic right whale is one of the world's most endangered large whale species, with only about 450 animals remaining. At least 17 North Atlantic right whales died in 2017. The leading known causes of death are vessel collisions and fishing gear entanglements. To help reduce fatalities to the North Atlantic right whale, one of the things we want to do at NOAA is to get the word out about some of the regulations to help protect the right whales. And one of those is the safe viewing distance, which is 500 yards or 1,500 feet from any right whale. That regulation is for all motorized vessels, swimmers, kayakers, paddle boards, and drones, which have come up recently. Really, the intent is so that we don't alter the behavior of the whale. One of the other regulations is the seasonal management areas, and those are designated areas where the whale transiting intersects with heavy shipping lanes. Vessels that are 65 feet or greater must maintain 10 knots or less when they enter and transit through those corridors. Another way right whales are at risk is through entanglement with commercial fishing gear. And when a whale gets entangled, it could prevent the whale from feeding, and it could lead to serious injury, or it could lead to death. NOAA Fisheries collaborated with the commercial fishing industry to come up with gear mandates to minimize the risk of entanglement. One of those gear mandates is the use of weak links. A weak link is a connection with an assigned strength. And the way it works is if an animal is coming along and feeding and gets the line in their mouth, in their baleen, they'll swim along and the buoy will start to move along and slide towards its head. When it, the buoy is too blocked alongside the whale's head, he can continue forward and that connection would break, allowing the animal to swim away. Now with offshore gear, you're not going to fish a single trap. Another gear mandate is that the ground line must be sink line. The ground line is defined as the line that each trap is attached to. And if you look down along here, you can see how each trap connects to this gray silverish line. And that's the ground line. In the past, it was often float line, creating large loops. With the sink ground line, it sits on bottom and it prevents those entanglements. Fishermen are also required to haul back their gear at least once every 30 days to minimize the underwater obstacles for whales. NOAA experts and partners are doing all we can to address this urgent conservation challenge. You can help too. If you see a right whale, report it. That will help us alert mariners so they can avoid the whales. Or our response team can help if a whale is in distress. Okay, that's, that's it. You can report sightings to NOAA at one of the call lines to the Coast Guard on channel 16 of your marine radio, or through your regional smartphone app. Thank you for keeping an eye out for these endangered whales. <laughs>